Hey, this is Dr. Willie Jolly, and I want to welcome you to my office, to my studio, and I want to welcome you to this special session on how to grow your speaking business, your speaking enterprise, and how to grow and go to the next level. How many of you ready to go and grow to the next level? If you're answering yes to that, then I want to say you've come to the right place and I've got a special session for you today to help you to do that. For those who don't know, I'm Dr. Willie Jolly. I'm host of the Willie Jolly Wealthy Way show on Sirius XM, which I'm proud to say is the number one self-help show on that network, as well as the Willie Jolly Wealthy Ways podcast on iHeartRadio and C-Suite and Spotify and TuneIn and Stitcher. And, and then I'm the author of a number of books that only takes a minute to change your life, a setback as a setup for a comeback, turn setbacks into greenbacks and attitude of excellence, uh, make love make money, make it last. And I am grateful that I have been able to be a professional speaker, a professional speaker. What, what does that mean? That means I get paid to speak. <laughs> and I've been able to be a professional speaker for over 30 years. And so I am grateful for this opportunity to kind of share, kind of share some tidbits, some tips of what I like to call techniques, ideas, principles, strategies, T-I-P-S, techniques, ideas, principles, strategies to help you to grow your business. Why is that? Well, because somebody helped me. Somebody helped me when I was a new speaker. I was struggling. Somebody blessed me, gave me insights. Somebody gave me opportunities and taught me how to grow a business. And so I want to return the favor. And I've learned that you must have an abundance mind mindset, um, abundance mentality. My dear friend, Les Brown always said, Willie, always remember there's more than enough for everybody. And I have learned that over the years with Les as we've traveled on the Get Motivated tour. I replaced Zig Ziglar, he replaced General Colin Powell on the tour. And we would open and close for many years all over America. And so I am in complete agreement with less that there's more than enough for everybody. So if I can share something with you today that will bless you or help you grow your business, I will be uh, very excited about that. Well, let me thought with this, that the speaking business is an incredible business, has blessed me tremendously, tremendously. I have done things and been places I never dreamed I would be. The opportunity is incredible for the speaking business. There have been millions of dollars generated through my office, millions of dollars that we have been able to generate right through this office to come into our office and to come into our operation and our organization. Millions of dollars from clients and customers all over the world. We've been able to travel. My wife and I have been able to travel to places we never dreamed of we would ever get to. We were able to go to South Africa for Coca-Cola, South Africa, and, and while they're going on a safari and get to go to where Mandela was in a prison cell, to get to many cities around South Africa. We've been able to go to Dubai for Johnson & Johnson, Middle East, and be able to fly first class to Dubai and to have an experience like I've never had in an air flight, and then get there and stay in the tallest hotel in the world. And to speak one hour, one hour, one hour speech, but yet to be able to be fed it and taken care of for a week on their dime. And they were grateful. They said, we are so grateful. Do you want to stay long? I said, no, I got to go back. Uh, and to be able to go to Japan and the Caribbean and Paris and to see and experience things that I could not believe. And to be able to generate more money in one hour than I used to make in one year. Wow. See, I used to be a nightclub singer. These are some of the awards I won as a nightclub singer, best jazz singer, best entertainer. And, and to be able to make now as a speaker more money in one hour than I used to make in a year, it's, it's, it's mind boggling. But this is from a guy who showed you that I did not come from a place where I had a golden, silver, bronze spoon in my mouth, but someone who learned how to grow a business from some wise mentors. And that's what I want to talk to you about. And it almost didn't happen to be. It didn't happen. It almost didn't happen to come to be because I almost 
messed up. See, when I was a new speaker, I kept hearing about this guy who was helping speakers become millionaires. I kept hearing about him, kept hearing about him. I'm making $150 a speech at that time, at that point, speaking to schools and a couple of education groups. $150 a speech. And I kept hearing about this guy who was making millionaires and I kept hearing about it over and over and I called his office and, and, and the lady said, yes, it's true. And she named some of the people who had been through his course. I said, what, what? And she said, they weren't millionaires when they came, but they're millionaires now. I said, wow. And I said, you know what? I got to come to that course. And I, I said, ma'am, uh, uh, when is the next event? She said, we got one coming up in about three weeks. In fact, it's the last one of the year he's going to do. And we got two seats left. I said, what? I said, one of those seats is mine. One of those seats is mine. How much is it? And I'm thinking it's going to be $500, $700, $1,000 maybe. She said, it's $10,000. I said, what did you say? She said, $10,000. For a couple of days, $10,000. Yes, sir. And I was getting ready to hang up. I said, forget that. I, I learned it on my own. I learned it on my own. I, I don't need it. But something inside of me said, don't do it. Don't mess up. This is not the time to make that decision. I said, ma'am, tell me a little more. She told me a little more about what I would be involved in and what he would teach me and how he would mentor me. And I said, ma'am, I'm coming. I'm going to send you a deposit. I only had $200 in my bank account at that point. I'm going to send you a deposit. I'm going to send you a check and I'll send you the rest shortly. And I sent a $200 check and then I went to work. I begged, I borrowed, I steal. I, I didn't, well, no, I didn't steal. <laughs> I almost stole, but no, I didn't steal. I begged and borrowed, but I didn't steal. But I got that $10,000 up. And I went to that event. And I came back with a new mindset. And I quickly made my first $100,000. And then from there, I was off to the races. And the next year when he had the seminar, I not only went, but I took my wife and I wrote a check for two of us. You hear I say I wrote a check for two of us and sent it. And when it went up to $15,000, I wrote a check for two of us and sent it. Because I learned in that process that I almost hurt my own future. I almost killed my own possibilities by being small-minded and cheap, to be honest with you. And I was able to make a wise decision. What I learned in that is this, there's a price for success. There's a price to go to school, price to go to college, price to go to any kind of trade program. There's a price for success, learning how to be a success. And then there's a cost for not being willing to pay the price. The cost of staying the same, being in the same place next year as you are in this year, wasting time. Let me tell you something I know about everybody who's watching right now. I know about you. I know that you can make more money. You can make more money, but let me tell you what I also know. You cannot make more time. You cannot make more time. You cannot make one more second per day. There are 1,440 minutes per day. You can't make one more minute, one more second. So when your time is up, your time is up. And so you got to make the most of this time that you've been given every moment because you don't know how long you're going to be here. And you can make money, but you can't make time. So you got to make the most of it. And I'm grateful that I had a wise moment where I said yes, and I went to that seminar. And so today I want to give you some basics, some of the basics that I teach in my speaker basics program that will help you. Now, I, I'm going to start with this. This is a football. This is a, a football from Florida State Uni University. My son was a Florida State fan, and Coach Bobby Bowden signed it and my son has kept it. And I wanna tell you about this football because this is a football. Now, Vince Lombardi, the great coach of the Green Bay Packers, who the Super Bowl trophy is named after the Vince Lombardi trophy, he did something very odd after winning the first Super Bowl. The next year, at the first day of training camp, when these guys come in, they, they just won the first Super Bowl. They were all pumped up. They all excited, ready for a new season. And he started with the first thing out of his mouth that he came to the guys and said, gentlemen, this is a football. And they said, we know it's a football. We won the championship. He said, I know. But we're going to start at the basics like I did last season. 
I started with the basics that I want you to know this is a football and we are football players. And let me tell you how the game is played and the, the bylaws and the rules and the regulations. And how, they said, we, the basics. Because if you don't have the basics and you don't remember the basics and you're not clear on the basics and you're not sound in the fundamentals, you never won a championship. And so today I want to give you some of the basics, the foundational points that will help you grow your success and your possibilities and understand how powerful it is. One of the basics that I've learned, and I told you the story about the guy who came my mentor, is that you are in a place right now where you could be the next big multi-million dollar earning speaker. But there are a lot of people who can give a great talk, who, who got a gift for gab, who, could, who can just spin a, a message, but don't know how to monetize it, don't know how to make money from it. And that's where I want to talk to you because you need mentors. Two ways to get to any goal, write this one down, two good ways to get to any goal, mentors and mistakes. Now, both will probably get you there eventually. But one gets you there quicker, faster, with less heartaches and headaches, and that's a mentor. And that's why I'm grateful that I have had great mentors over these 30 plus years who have empowered me, inspired me, and taught me, and showed me where the potholes were, where the bumps in the road were. So you got to get good mentors. So remember mentors versus mistakes. Another thing you must understand is that where there's an opportunity, you understand that there will be some challenges. Now, here's some of the challenges. Now, I told you the opportunity that you can make millions of dollars in this business. You don't have to be the brightest bulb in the pack. I was a nightclub singer, but I was willing to learn from wise mentors. But then there's the problems that will come as a result of the opportunity. One of the problems is that most people who, who start out in the speaking business fail. Yeah. Statistics show, as I said, I'm a... a leadership position with the National Speakers Association. And I'm with the Speakers Association. Let's look at what I've, I've been able to accomplish in these 30 years. I've been named one of the top five speakers in the world by Toastmasters International, 175,000 members of Toastmasters. Only, uh, only 50 people have been given that award. Colin Powell, Norma Schwarzkopf, Nelson Mandela, Margaret Thatcher, Christopher Reed, Les Brown, Zig Ziglar. I've been inducted in the Speaker Hall of Fame. I've been named one of the uh, the legends of the speaking industry. I've been uh, named a one of the top five leadership speakers in the world. I've been grateful for all those things. And now I'm the chair of the NSA CPA Hall of Fame Leadership Council. First African-American to be able to get that honor. Okay, so we got that. Now, here's what I've learned. That of the speakers who come into this business, 30% fail in the first year. Give up, done. 30 more percent fail in the second year. Give up, done, can't sustain it. And we find that in getting to the six figure, seven figure level, less than 10% are able to do that. And that is what I wanna to talk to you about today. I wanna to talk to you about the basics and the ABCs of speaking. First, I want to talk about the ABCs. A stands for attitude and action. Yes, it's critical about your attitude. There'll be some setbacks, but you know, I've, I've written it. A setback, set up for a comeback. You got to understand wherever there's an adversity, there's an equal and greater opportunity. So there'll be adversities, there'll be challenges, but you got to have a positive attitude, critical. Now, most people who start speaking, typically have a positive attitude. It's the action that goes with that attitude, a positive action, what I call faithful courage, uh, a action that says, I believe in what I'm doing and I'm willing to take action on those steps. So it got to be so, so consistent action. Number two is B. B is for belief and behavior. You got to have a positive belief that you will make it, that you will sustain yourself. When I remember when I was just getting started and I was talking to a friend and he said, what are you going to do now? I said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm quitting my job. He said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to become a full-time speaker. A speaker? You think people are going to pay you? I said, yeah. He said, I don't know if that's going to work. I said, let me tell you something. I said it with such a belief that within a decade, I'm going to be one of the best. 
I spoke it before it became a reality. I spoke it into being. I spoke it into existence in my mind, in my spirit. That was 1991. In 1999, I was named one of the top five speakers in the world by Toastmasters. Within a decade. So you must believe it. But then you must have behaviors that go along with your belief, which is different than the action. It's the behaviors you do every day. Every day I would get up at a certain time. Every day I would make a number of calls. I would make a number of sales calls. I would check it out. Even when I was tired, I'd always make that number. Oh, I got to hit that number. I'm tired. Keep going because these are the behaviors you, you got to get to that will make you successful. You've got to market. You got to network. You got to get the word out. You got to write the books. You got to do the television and radio. You might be tired. Got to do it. These are behaviors you got to do over and over again until they become habit. So A is for attitude and action. B is for belief and behaviors. And C is for your content and your character. Content. The, the content that you're developing that you may be able to give a funny story or a great message, but can you sustain it? Can you create more great messaging? Can you create more content? And then what about your character? Your character can either lift you or kill you. We've seen people who were superstars who had a character flaw and that character flaw ruined them. So you gotta have a consistent character. In other words, I cannot be talking to you about high level thinking on the stage and then backstage tell you these dirty, nasty, racist or, or homophobic or any kind of th those kind of jokes. That's not, that's not character. No, it has to be consistent. I can't be one way out there and one way in here. No, no, no. You got to be consistent with your character. And that's one thing I've always talked to everybody I know. I try and make sure they know that if you hear from me, you hear from my mouth, you can take it to the bank. Because I want people to know that I'm a man of character and a man of integrity. And I'm going to treat people no matter where they come from, no matter where they're stationed in life. I'm going to treat them with dignity and respect about your character. So content, what you're going to talk about, and your character, what you bring with that talk. And so you're going to have to have the ABCs. You're going to have to have some uh, understanding about what it's going to take to understand the, the basics. And then you're going to need to know about how important it is to speak, not to impress, but to speak, to inspire. Oh, that's one of my catchphrases. I've had Speakers who've come up to me who've been speaking 20, 30 years who say that one line changed it. That was worth it while I came to hear you speak at a chapter for the speakers or for events for speakers. Speak not to impress, speak to inspire. You know, when you're speaking, oh, often you'll have some nervousness. You'll have those butterflies flying around. You know what I'm talking about, the butterflies. And what I've learned is many people are nervous and they're trying to impress the audience to make people like them and there'll be some person over in the corner who doesn't like them or they'll be working hard and they're trying to impress them make them like them and what i learned is that my career exploded it shot up like a rocket when i learned this principle speak not to impress speak to them inspire them because see if i my goal is to impress them i might give them a lot of fluff but nothing of value, but I speak to inspire them. They'll leave with a confidence that they can do some of the things that I've told them that they could do and that they'll do it with a spirit and a commitment to excellence. See, those butterflies, when you speak to impress, the butterflies will fly, but when you speak to inspire, the butterflies will fly in formation. Mm. <laughs> and then when you do that, you won't be worried about impressing. Let me tell you something, in fact, about impressing people that my friend Les Brown, this is something that all speakers should know. Many young speakers don't know. They see that one person over in the corner, arms folded. You tell them their jokes and then nothing happens. Huh. Huh. I'm giving them my, and they take all their energy trying to make this one person who, or these group of people who are not feeling them love them and ignore the rest of the group. Well, let me tell you what I've learned over the years. That if you speak to 10 people, three of them are gonna like you because you showed up. Three of them are gonna like you because what you say. 
Three of them are going to like you for the way you say what you say. And one of them is not going to like you no matter what you do or say. So with that in mind, speak to the ones who are already in your camp. Focus on them. Don't dwell on the one who no matter what you do or say, they're not going to like you. That 1%. That 1%. 10% or, or 10% actually, uh, 1% is uh, one person out of 10, but 10% of that audience. So 10%, 30, 30% are gonna love you, wait, well, no matter what, 30% are gonna love you for what you say, 30% are gonna love you by the way you say what you say, and 10% are not gonna love you no matter what you say or do. So just go forward and have a mind. So I remember speaking one time and I was in a room and a lady was, and I was, but I will I will kept that in mind and I kept on speaking and, and inspiring other people. And at the end of my speech, when it was time to sign books, this lady was the first one in line. She said, that was the best speech I ever heard. I said to myself, why don't you tell your face? <laughs> so, 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 so don't dwell, you never, you never know. So finally, I wanna to talk to you about the fact that as I started with impact, because wherever you have impact, you'll create income. Write that one down. If you ever have impact, you will create income. And I've been trying to impact people, but not just my audiences on television and radio and my speaking, but also I've been trying to impact people who are doing this industry, who want to be great speakers. And I'm very grateful. I've had the influence on a number of great speakers who were not speakers when they started with me who came to me or I mentored or came to my speaker boot camp, or, or took one of the programs I recommended from my office and get that, do that. And they did it. And then they came to my boot camp, and they did that. And they, they came and maybe got some personal coaching and they did that. Well, let's look at a few of them. Simon T. Bailey, met him at Disney. I was speaking at an event. He was working for Disney. He said, I wanna do what you are doing. I told him what to do. And he listened and he did it. Today he's in the Speaker Hall of Fame. Walter Bond was a former basketball player with the Timberwolves. He called me on the phone one day and said, I want to do what you do. I've heard nothing but great things about you. Everybody says you're willing to help. What should I do? And I told him what to do. He did it. He's in the Speaker Hall of Fame. Delatoro McNeil. Y'all know Delatoro McNeil. Delatoro was a student at U University of South Florida, South Florida and USF, and he came to my event when I was at, in Tampa speaking for the Martin Luther King City program. He saw it in the paper and he called my office and said, can I come and meet him? And, and he said, I'll help at the table. And my assistant who was with me said, oh, sure, we'll have to have, to have and, and we developed a friendship. I told him what to do. He came to boot camp. He's gone to programs. He'd done everything I've told him to do. He now is the youngest certified CSP, certified speaking professional ever. And I believe he's on his way to the Speaker's Hall of Fame really soon. And he has spoken all over the world for the million dollar round table, the highest level speaking opportunity that many speakers try for years to get on that stage. He's done it not only in America, but in Korea and, and Japan. He's one of the top speakers around the globe. Bernice Armour, former military lady who was a Marine helicopter pilot called me and said, I want to do what you do. I told her what to do. She's now one of the top female speakers in America on the corporate circuit, making $20,000 per speech. Mm. I'm loving these stories. And that's what I want to say to you. I want to help others. I want to help others who are really ready to grow and go to the next level. So here are two things I want to give you. Two things. I was in Los Angeles with Les Brown. We were doing an event. And we're backstage and he said, Willie, look at this. And he saw an email of this, this guy who was charging speakers this outrageous amount of money to learn how to, find, how to be paid five figures. Now the guy might have been sincere. He might have had written some books or read some books or learned about it somewhere, but he hadn't done it. See, that's the difference between a coach and a mentor. Now coaches are good. Coaches, Tiger Woods has a coach who has never won a master's who coached him through it. There'll be some good coaches. But a mentor is someone who's done what you want to do and can tell you what to do, how to do it, and how to get there quickly. And so he said, Willie, and they're charging like 50 grand to teach him just the basics. 
I said, wow, I know if I tried to learn the basics that way, I would have never been able to do this. Initially, I just, I needed help. I said, I'm gonna do something about it. So I went back home and I did a training, a three hour training, and we recorded it called Speaking Basics, three hours on the basics of speaking, marketing, media, books, publishing, all the things I've been able to do, basics. And I said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take all of that stuff that others might be charging $50,000 for, I'm gonna charge $100, $97 actually, $97. Because that's all I would have been able to afford. So if you go to youcanspeaknow.com, youcanspeaknow.com, go there and get that training. $97. And bless somebody else after you've done it. Turn somebody else on to it. Tell them, hey, look, go get Willie Jolly's training. Others charge 50000 He said he, he understands the pain, the challenge, the hurt, the difficulty getting up and going and growing your business. He just started $97. Go get it. The other thing is that some of you want a little more time with me. So you might want to come to my boot camp. Now, this year, we might have to do it virtually. But if you will reach out to my office, then we'll tell you how to how to register for the upcoming programs we're going to do. And you can do that if you send us an email at info at willyjolly.com. Info at willyjolly.com. Info, I-N-F as in Frank O at W-I-L-L-I-E-J-O-L-L-E-Y.com. Say, hey, I want information on the uh, boot camp uh, that's going to happen, whether it's virtual, real, or live, or not, or when it's going to happen, or whatever. And then some people say, I want coaching. I had a guy who, who, who saw my, one of my television programs just sent me a, a, a LinkedIn message. He watches me on LinkedIn every day. He said, I want coaching from you. I want personal coaching. I want it and I'm willing to pay for it because I know that that's how I'm going to get to the next level. I want one of the best to teach me how to be the best. So we have that option as well. So again, that's info at willyjolly.com and my team will let you know about that. So, but you know what? Those are all options. My recommendation, just start with youcanspeaknow.com. Just go there, youcanspeaknow.com and get started. And if I can be of more help, if I can be of more service, if you need more from there, we got options. But I want you to just get up and growing and going and do it at a reasonable rate so that you can then help somebody else along the way and along the path. And that you will be part of that 10% that gets to the six figure, seven figure incomes from speaking. So I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for this opportunity to share some ideas with you. I want to let you know that I'm confident that if you do these things, these techniques, ideas, principles, and strategies, and you take full advantage and believe in yourself, the ABCs, I will see you doing great things like those others who I mentioned. So I will close like I began you have only just a minute, only 60 seconds in it. It's forced upon you. You can't refuse it. You didn't seek it. You didn't choose it, but it's up to you to use it. You must suffer if you lose it. Give account if you abuse it. Just a tiny little minute but your eternities are wrapped up in it. This is Dr. Willie Jolly. Thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed this and may God continue to richly bless you. And remember, for sure, as I say at the end of my XM show, for sure, your best is yet to come. God bless you.